everybody! Ah, yes. I, I think it's about time I did another video because I'm bored. Also, I just kind of like doing these. I'm standing up again because, well, I kind of like moving around a little bit and I kind of am liking this. Do you like it? I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below. Regardless, I'm here to talk to you about a very nice little thing that we all end up doing at least a few times in our RPG career or even in our books if we end up writing in fantasy or history and such like that. The end of the adventure has come, you've got your spoils and you go off to the tavern. You have a night of drinking, eating, and then finally you pay off the tavern keeper and you get yourself a room. Let's talk about that. You see, you're all wrong. Okay, that's rude. Um, it's kind of wrong. Well, uh, okay, mostly wrong. Uh, all, all wrong. Okay, let, let's talk about this. Oh boy, taverns. What a thing they are. They are possibly the most stereotypical thing we see in a medieval setting. We see taverns in just about every book and even George R.R. R. Martin and the Game of Thrones series, or just generally any movie you see, gets them all wrong. You see, more often than not, what we end up seeing is the very stereotypical tavern where we see people drinking, and it's, it's kind of a mix between a bar and a hotel, and that is technically right. And they might have tavern food. Okay, that is, that is right too. Okay. But people thought differently about sleeping arrangements back then. It's very common, isn't it, in your RPGs that essentially you go to the tavern, you have a few drinks, you eat, you pay for your own room. Now, I'm not saying this never happened, but most certainly it rarely happened. It was, it was seen as wasteful to have a single room to yourself. It, it was actually a very good status symbol if you could do that, but not even lords in their own castle did that. They would have all of their children, their dogs, their manservants. They would have guards sleep in the same room as the lord and lady of the manor. I wish I was joking. Maybe if you were very, very rich, you could have your own room, but it just didn't happen. So what makes you think in taverns this happened? Well, that's choked up to George R. R. Martin and quite a bit of our modern day mindset. You see, for us, we would never even imagine sleeping in a room with that. Much less, in actual taverns, what would end up happening is when everybody left home, they would put the chairs, the stools, everything to the side of the room and pull out the rashes. People could then pay, usually a small fee, to sleep in the tavern floor that night. They'd be warmed by the fire and people were fine with this. I mean, it's basically a communal sleeping room, or basically a medieval hostel. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. A medieval hostel, that is what taverns are, God's sake. But no, sometimes, if you were rich enough, you could order for a bed. A bed that you would often share with somebody. And you might see, oh my God, sharing a bed with somebody? A complete stranger? I would never want this. Ironically though, no, they did want this. Because if you're a merchant, it's a very good way to network. You can meet other richish people and you would you know, lay down on the bed and you could literally have pillow talk, talking to each other, and you could meet all kinds of people. You could even make financial contacts. People would actually want this. And inside that room, there was other people who were semi-private sleeping there, and it was considered pretty normal. Kind of strange how we think, how it really was. And even if you did get private rooms, it was usually in a very strange spot in the taverns. You see, they would literally sell out almost every room of the tavern, from the hallways, to the rafters, to the attic, to the storeroom, to the kitchen, wherever you could put people, you put them. Because that's good business. It's, like I said, a medieval hostel. These places were communal areas. And I think that makes things a bit more interesting if you introduce this to your game. Cause think about it now. This is a new way you could add in contacts. You could have the party meet merchants that way. Perhaps in your stories, if you write them, maybe characters meet each other more this way. Or 
if somebody can actually afford to buy themselves their own room, could you imagine? Everybody in the tavern would be, oh, well that man's rich. Imagine what that would do. How the mindset of some people, the more skullduggery people might think, oh, maybe I should steal from that person. Or the more uh, merchant minded might, okay, well now I wanna make deals with him. This has been a bit of a short rant I've been having. It's kind of something I've always wanted to do, uh, but I never really knew how to get around to it or how to talk about it. I truly do love history, but I also do love my RPGs and stories. And I'm trying to figure out how to blend that properly in this channel. I thank you for listening to this little bit of a rant I've had. So will you be adding this into your game? Do you think this is an interesting fact? Should I be changing things about my channel? Please tell me in the description below. My name is Michael, this is my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, and I hope to be seeing you in the next video. Have a good day. Boop.